I'll give you a walking introduction to the shop. Uh, my driveway, there's my well. It's a real well. It's where my water comes from. I got the old Lincoln rusted out, but I still got her for parts because it doesn't burn any oil, but it's too rusty to have inspected. It's just, you know, Buffalo winters. Um, take you into the shop. The walking tour. I'll shoot as steady as I can. Um, it's 24 by 58 long and uh, it's in the woods too and the the high bay here take you in I got a 10 foot wide and 12 foot high door this is the old uh, my Clark forklift which I love um, there's the Barnes drill press and my MIG welder and leftover wood uh, I got some nice windows put in the gable end um, some doors for my house I uh, got my uh, radial drill walker turner and I got a few other things here you can see uh, Detroit diesel 371 no 353 and then uh, two Cummins four-cylinder diesels and then my six-speed ZF um, so it's it's coming along uh, this is the high bay there's no heating in the high bay or air conditioning um, my gantry crane that I built in Buffalo, you guys remember, there it is, 13 foot some some inches, and it just clears the collar ties on the, uh, on the roof. Oh, I, got, I got a slider door going into the shop. Um, now this is climate controlled. First thing, front and center, is the, uh, the Giddings Lewis 25T boring mill. Uh, I got that, you know, a couple weeks ago, as I said. Um, well, let's kind of give an overview. Tool cabinet, decal, um, the old K.R. Wilson press. That's a honey of a press, as you guys know. Um, machine is packed into a corner because I'm moving stuff. Um, let's see, as I come in here, there's my sliding door, my man door, service panel, 100 amps. Uh, my workbenches, <laughs> got a whole bunch of stuff, like I'm really obviously working in here, making good stuff, good progress. All my drawers, I like a lot of drawers for parts, you guys know. Um, this is my latest kind of setup, an arrangement I should say. Um, we got the Sugami lathe, uh, chucker lathe, and my HLV Harding, uh, which I bought down here. And you know, HLVH. Kind of got them off to the corner there, uh, coming off the wall. It makes kind of good spacing uh, arrangement. And I stuck my toolbox here. I don't know if it's going to live there permanently. Um, my border shilts, uh, which I love because I restored it and cleaned it and repainted it. And, and I'm shooting sparks up against the wall. I might hang a piece of sheet metal there. Um, I, another latest purchase, my Covell, which you guys might have seen posts on PM. Uh, cylindrical grinder. Um, it's pretty clean. I'm going to take the table off and put it in the parts washer, clean all the grit off of it. Um, that white stuff is rubber. He's been grinding rubber rolls with it and it's got the, uh, the swing down precise uh, ID grinder. He's got a diamond or CBN bit, bit on it now. But uh, that's, that's going to take minimal amount of uh, fixing up. Uh, say I'm going to clean the table and scotch, um, super clean the rest of it. Um, but yeah, so this is the shot looking out. Oh, I got my beam up there. That's good for a thousand pounds tied right into the, the ridge uh, beam of the roof and to the, the floor joist, the ceiling joist also with all thread and my attic scuttle hole at the top there. Um, oh yeah, my closing cold chester um, lathe, um, 17 by 54 inch bed. Nothing's wrong with it. I got it apart for cleaning and oil change and just checking out the gears. It's about 4,000 pounds. Uh, three inch through the spindle. L2 mount. Four more taper tail stock. Let's see here. My uh, Clearman. I bought this down here also. Um, I keep wanting to turn the camera sideways, but I know it's video. Um, and you can't do that. I got the cover off to look at the gears. The handle on the left was crunched uh, the cast iron part. I replaced it, fixed it, brazed it back together like brand new. You can't even tell. That's the speed and then the feed, of course, on the right. 
And that's a, say like a really nice four morse taper, also drill press. I got my little uh, cast iron surface plate, microwave for heating up coffee and bagels and just stuff and all my old buffalo calendars, timeless. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, the Gorton, not Gorton, Van Norman, uh, 22LU for universal, horizontal, vertical, um, power, everything on this table, X, Y, and Z, and then rapid X, Y, and Z. Boy, I never <laughs> knew life could be so good having rapids and back uh, behind the table controls also. Um, I'm never gonna use coolant on these machines. It destroyed the Harding HLV H. Um, I talked a lathe behind the clausing. It's my ACK return. I might sell it because I got the uh, handy TNG lathe, but it's kind of a neat uh, space because you got the motor that juts out and um, I'm gonna have power in the center with a drop cord and just carts of stuff. This is cool. This is a held number seven ID grinder. Get a good focus on it. I think I'm zoomed all the way out. But anyways, held grinder, I think this is from the early 40s. Um, huge plane bearings on the, uh, the work head, flat belt drive. I'm gonna get rid of those overhead drives. I'm gonna do a motor gearbox uh, thingy for driving the work head and something more graceful for driving the spindle. Um, that's cool, it's a, a Parker. And I don't know if it's Parker Majestic, I assume it is Parker Majestic, but maybe it's before they merged. And it's got the dovetail slide in so you could put the red hat or red head uh, spindles in there, it's the same dovetail. And the ways in this thing are pretty good. Um, the bridge over the table is for the diamond to dress everything. It's a buck chuck with OD jaws, and I need to find some ID jaws. I got my eight inch magnetic chuck to put on there so I can stick a chuck to the mag chuck. But it's complete. I seen one on PM that was missing all the power feed and reversing regalia um, that I got had, but this has everything intact. And it's actually I had another motor on back for the power feeds. But I'm, I'm gonna keep this machine and clean it up. I might even put a, a Baldor grinder spindle, make something up for OD grinding. Um, there's no tail stock, but the table is so massive and you know accurate that I, I think it doesn't need a tail stock for like chucker work and short stuff. So I really like that one. Of course, there's my clausing with the Bridgeport head. That's like the first thing I set up because it was running and it had the readout and everything. Um, backward shot of the Giddings and Lewis. Let me get up there. That's in good shape. The waves are in excellent shape. Um, everything's good. Um, I'm going to be cleaning up on it and scrape all that green paint off. You can see the gray underneath my old Atlas drill press. And like I say, it's just chaos because I'm, you know, rearranging machines to, to make everything work and fit. Um, kind of got my, everything you can move with a pallet jack. That's an, an essential. Even my toolbox is blocked up. Got the deckle in the middle of the floor. I'm going to put it somewhere. Um, oh, I, I rave about that Mitsubishi. It keeps it cool like an iceberg and, and, and warm like a, a cozy fire. I'll show you my tooling cabinet. I'm proud of this. This is a Michelin electrical cabinet that I gutted and made for uh, holding my tooling um, stuff. And it's nice heavy uh, two by 10 uh, pieces I made the shelving out of. Yes, I know my vices got rusty, Jim. I'll clean them. Yes, Jim and Mark both hate rust, and there's more rust potential down here than in Buffalo. But anyways, here I'm up on the, the steppy ladder. Kind of give you a, a quick uh, overview. And this is Doozer's Machine Shop World. So I just want to make a quick video um, to show you guys um about what it is uh, you know where i live and uh, everything and uh kind of give you a vision you know of uh, what i like to do uh in the shop here fixing stuff up you know we're uh we're guys that like uh, tools and uh stuff like that so uh, i just want to give you a, a mental image 
of my shop. So you can imagine when I tell you about stuff I'm working on, um, you can have a picture in your mind. So that's it. Uh, I'll send this video off to you guys and talk to you later.